Hi guys and welcome back. It's that time again where we talk about trash. We are doing empties and I have been gathering these products for months. But before we get into the video, how are you? How is it going? I did darken up my hair a little bit since last time that I spoke to you because it started to fade a little bit and I was really vibing the dark hair probably because we are also getting into the winter and it kind of goes with the vibe of the winter I don't know but anyways I'm quite liking it this this right here and a low bun is the only hairstyles I can get away with right now because my hair is so damaged and so broken that I cannot let it down <laughs> that's of course my fault but anyways, let's get into the video. I have a full box of trash this time. Did I move trash from my previous apartment to this apartment just so that I can do this video? Absolutely. <laughs> That's the level of dedication, okay? These videos usually tend to be very long. My mouth and my throat already hurt, so I'm not in the mood <laughs> to talk for a very long time. So I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can. Okay, so first product that I have here on top is this KMS California Free Shape Hot Flex Spray. So basically this is a heat protectant for your hair, but it also acts a little bit as a hairspray. It's hold three out of five it is a little bit sticky some of you might not like that but i found that because honestly i don't really use any styling products except from a heat protectant i don't use hairspray or other stuff i have started to play around with mousse a little bit especially since i don't use hairsprays i found that this was a two-in-one product that protected my hair and also made it last a little bit longer i can definitely say that i liked it i would purchase again in the future i have not at this moment i am trying something different i just like to experiment a little bit more with heat protectants and styling products so but i i did enjoy using it next i have a lot of uh, skincare and <laughs> hair products okay i have a shampoo i cannot it's actually conditioner but i have had this empty for a, a long time many many months. I've been wanting to film this video for at least a couple of months now and I'm always kind of avoiding doing it but now I am. It's time to throw everything away. So this is the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner. I had the shampoo of this which I really like and I'm actually using the Briogeo shampoo, kind of the similar one but the green one and the green one, I'm not gonna lie, I did not like it as much as the banana one but anyway, this is a conditioner honestly, I did not enjoy this conditioner that much because I felt it was a little bit thick and I felt like I needed to use quite a bit of product to have the same effect or to do the same job as I would use with a different conditioner I mainly use conditioner in the shower to detangle my hair because if I don't use conditioner it is so hard to detangle my hair afterwards and I don't <laughs> I didn't always use conditioner so I'm wondering like what the heck did I do before sidetrack I'm also using sometimes a K18 the bonding treatment or whatever but that requires that you only wash your hair with shampoo and you don't use conditioner or anything else hair mask or anything so every time <laughs> I do that uh, the struggle is real to detangle this mess. Even if I brush my hair before I shower, the process of shampooing it, it makes a huge mess. But yeah, anyways, I don't think I would repurchase this conditioner. I did not like the consistency of this. I did not like that. I felt like I had to use too much product to have the same effect. So that will be a no for the future. Next, I have a nail polish. This is a smoothing base. This is from Holotaco. It is basically what it says is this, it is a smoothing base. I really enjoyed using it. I feel like it made a nice even layer on my nails. I especially like to use a base like this because I do lots of my nails. I glue press zones and all that kind of stuff, which does damage a little bit the surface of my nails. So sometimes I really need a smoothing base. And this one was really good. It kind of dried out towards the end, but I managed to like add a little bit of um, nail polish thinner and it worked fine. And I'm managed to use it completely up so i'm very happy about that i use product i love finishing products so speaking of nail polishes i finished one nail polish without it being in the project plan it was not an intentional thing so this is the kale polish pinky kale polish does not exist anymore like slacker it's now the new kathleen lights brand i'm pretty sure that she recently came out with pinky which was from kale polish she recently released a bunch of old og 
Italy stuff. But again, Light Sucker does not ship everywhere in the world and they definitely do not ship to Norway, so I cannot get my hands into that now, even if I wanted to. I have to say, I did like this nail polish. It is this very pretty, very light pinkish shade. <laughs> Hence the name Pinky. It is kind of a jelly type appearance, I guess I would say, or consistency, whatever. It's not fully opaque, and that's the point of it. It's not supposed to be fully opaque. And I really like it. This is a very nice natural looking nail polish. It's really nice for brides or like bridal shower or anything where you want your nails to look like very natural but elegant and like you are that bitch that takes care of her nails, you know? So yeah, this was a great nail polish for that. My only complaint is that this in my opinion was a little bit streaky so I found myself that I had to use multiple layers of it just to kind of get a nice even layer and it was a little bit thick even though I could get it out a little bit it was still a little bit streaky so I did not love the application of it I loved the look of it it was really nice but the streakiness of it it usually made me apply too much of this and most of the time I ended up ruining my nails just because it was a thick layer which would take forever to dry and that's what kind of annoyed me about this that it was so much work to have <laughs> perfect nails with this nail polish although in theory this should have been very easy you know but nevertheless I finished it and towards the end it's almost like the product kind of disappeared anyways i don't know if the newer the lights like your pinky version of this has a little bit of an improved formula or not or maybe it's exactly the same i don't know i haven't tried it maybe it is because i do not have a nail polish exactly like this i would love to have a similar nail polish but with better formula let me know if you have actually tried the newer version of this and how it is if it's the same or not so i'm very curious to know even though i cannot get my hands on it maybe sometime in the future who knows water break now i have a lot of skincare i am very low on skincare products right now i am using <laughs> a bunch of minis because i have run out of basically everything it's just too expensive <laughs> to repurchase everything at the same time and I'm like what's the priority what should I repurchase so I haven't repurchased anything just because I'm like I have so much to repurchase and I don't know where to start anyways this is the Naturium Niacinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2% this is definitely my second or third bottle of this I have gone through this again in the past and I really like the serum Naturium is a really nice and affordable brand I really love the consistency of this I love the bottle I think Think this is for me a very enjoyable product and niacinamide is an ingredient which has many benefits to the skin so I do like to have a niacinamide serum in my skincare routine so I would definitely repurchase this one in the future I love it it's affordable it's a um, nice consistency not sticky and it's a great product moving on this is a Cosrx low pH good morning gel cleanser and I have to say I did not like this very much formulated with purifying botanical ingredients this low pH formula works to soothe, refresh and soften the skin without the stripping feeling. I do agree, this was not very streaking to my skin. I do have normal to dry skin, drier towards the winter, which we are now. I did finish it a while ago, but honestly, I only finished it because I bought it and I don't like throwing away products, so I'm like, since I have it, I did not hate it, you know, and it wasn't too stripping, but it wasn't very enjoying. It smelled bad, which is, I guess, what a lot of unscented products smell like. I don't know about Silthy. It was an okay cleanser. I I know that some people do enjoy this cleanser but it wasn't personally for me mostly because it wasn't a very pleasant experience and every time that I would wash my face I was like yeah you know it didn't excite me to wash my face and I want my skincare to excite me because otherwise I will not do it it's more motivating to do your skincare routine if you have products that you really enjoy using and you like for that reason I'm not gonna be repurchasing but if you do like it and you think that it does great things for your skin then go ahead and <laughs> buy it you know I'm not gonna stop you okay next thing I have this physician's formula the perfect matcha 3-in-1 melting cleansing balm looks like this I finished it completely 
I don't know why I expected it to smell differently. It has a slight scent to it, but nothing too crazy. I have tried over the years to use different cleansing balms just to try and find like the ones that I like the best or do the best cleansing for me. But honestly, I was not very impressed by this one. I mean, it was fine. It worked. The consistency, it was okay, but I wasn't impressed with it. It removed my makeup okay, I guess, but it wasn't like that experience were like for example my vanilla co cleansing balm i feel like it melts very fast into the skin and um, it is a little bit more gliding i guess i i just feel it feels at least i don't know if that's the case but it feels like it does a little bit of a better job than this did how how is my battery almost empty Let's continue fast because I'm gonna have to keep stopping and recharging my camera. And I really want to finish this video. Speaking of cleansing bombs, I have two more. So one of them, again, is my vanilla coat that I just talked about, the Clinic Zero Balm, which is one of my favorites, my two favorite actually cleansing balms. This is something that I can always go back to and know that works for me. Not much more to say about this, I've gone through multiple tubs of this one. On the other hand, we have this one from Naturium, the Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. Naturium is one of these brands that I really like because they are affordable and they do offer great products for the prices. So I have in the past like most of the products that they come out with or the ones that I have tried but this one unfortunately was not one of them i feel like it was fine it wasn't terrible to put it this way i just did not love the consistency of this for me the cleansing balm is about how it melts into your skin it doesn't always melt in a nice way where you feel like it is actually removing most of the product the consistency of it made me not really enjoy it and that's the main reason why i will not be repurchasing this one in the future i had high hopes about this because it's from natural I expected to really like it. Next, I have a hair mask. This is a Brigio Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut. Oh no, this is a. <laughs> E shampoo. <laughs> this has the same packaging as their hair mask. Charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. This basically was a grayish charcoal kind of color shampoo. I used it from time to time where I felt like I had a lot of build up in my hair. I mean it was fine. I can't say I was mind blown about this product. It didn't make a huge difference where I felt like oh my god my hair feels so much more lighter and so much more different after washing it. I did enjoy using it while I had it. I am not going to run and buy a new one. I have actually finished it many months ago and I haven't repurchase a new one yet. I don't think it's a bad product, I just don't think it was as exciting, you know? I'm not saying I would never buy it again, but it's not from those products where I feel like it's a must-have, you know? And then I have another hair product. This is a cold pressed avocado nourishing skull pack with banana, pirated green, and honestly it does smell like banana. What can I say? yeah oh my god this smells so good i really enjoyed this mask or scalp pack whatever it felt good while i use it i cannot say i feel like it is kind of hard to tell if a hair product actually did something so i did enjoy using it and i would buy it again the only thing that it is kind of expensive for me to buy it because i have to pay i don't know dhl shipping from the website at least which is quite expensive so it's not worth the trouble because I don't feel like it was a mind-blowing product. It was really nice, I enjoyed using it, but <laughs> sometimes, even though I really want to get some product, when the shipping is like $25, then I'm like, do I really <laughs> need this product? In this case, if I not have to worry about the shipping or something, I would buy it again. But for now, I am not going to repurchase it. Okay, next we have a body yogurt. This is the Body Shop Mango Body Yogurt. It's basically a body lotion. It smells nice and I actually got it at 50% off. I have the British Rose, which I really love the scent of it. It smells really good. With this one, I did not enjoy the scent of it too much. It's nice, but it felt like a little bit too much. And with a lot of body shop products, I feel like I like it in the beginning and then it gets like too much, the scent, too overwhelming. And I don't end up liking it afterwards. So this was definitely the case for this one. The British Rose one, I have actually repurchased it. So I'm 
going through my second tub of that but this one i will definitely not buy it again because of the scent and also because i don't think this is an amazing body lotion i love the jellyish consistency it's really lightweight and easy to apply but i feel like it doesn't really absorb into the skin you know sometimes when you apply a body lotion or a hand cream and you go and wash your hand and it feels like it completely went off and nothing got absorbed into your skin this is the feeling that I get with this one for that reason I don't think definitely not gonna repurchase this one and I might repurchase the British Rose one once more but I'm not crazy about this more skincare products so far I haven't talked about any makeup product but I have two of them Thrill. Okay, more skincare. This one, this was the Naturium Multi Bright Tranexamic Acid Treatment 5%. So basically, this was supposed to be something like a brightening serum. If you don't like vitamin C, this is an alternative you can use. Yeah, it has uh, tranexamic acid plus encapsulated kojic acid and alpha arbutin. It uses to target the look of PIH. I don't know what that is. PIH for a brighter, more even looking complexion. I enjoyed using this one and it did give me a really glowy appearance on the skin. It's a nice consistency serum. Would I say I saw a huge difference? Honestly, I do not struggle a lot with dull skin or hyperpigmentation, which I'm very grateful for because it's something very difficult to remove. But I always like to have a vitamin C or a brightening serum or something like that just to make the skin look even more glowy you know and bright so i will probably repurchase it in the future although i have to say that from the videos that i saw of susan using this product it looked a lot brighter or a lot more glowy when she applied this one on the skin i didn't find it to be as glowy as i expected it from watching that video so i was a little bit disappointed from the glowy aspect of it i liked having it okay next i have a retinol serum this is the inky list retinol uh, does it say how much percent no not really it was a nice consistency inky list is an affordable brand I will definitely be repurchasing in the future this is 30 mils although it looks quite small I did get a good use out of this product I feel like it worked nice it has a nice serumy consistency but it's on the thicker side it's not like a cream it's between a cream and a serum more towards a serum I would say yeah I really liked it it didn't smell very good I still used it because I enjoyed using it and yeah I will be repurchasing so I recommend this one next I have a moisturizer and this is also one of the products that I felt like where did the product go it's almost like it evaporated because I remember having more products inside and then it suddenly finished this is a glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer this is a really serum like moisturizer so if you're somebody that wants to use a super lightweight moisturizer oh my god for a second there I thought that I was not recording <laughs> the past 10 minutes yeah that was that was fun <laughs> probably if you're somebody with like um, oily skin this would be great for you it is super lightweight and very serum like i like to use this one during the summer for example where i don't want a very thick moisturizer it was really nice glow recipe it is a little bit pricey and for a moisturizer i'm like is it actually worth it although i really enjoyed using it would i reverse that again mm, i don't know maybe probably i did like the product it's the price that bothers me <laughs> personally but yeah i liked it on the other hand we have the isn't tree hyaluronic acid moisture cream with five types of hyaluronic acid this one i'm actually thinking of repurchasing it right now for the winter because i love this moisturizer this one is one of my favorite top moisturizers of all times it's not very thick but it's not as lightweight as this one i would say i find it it's thick enough for the winter but not too thick where i would say like it's suffocating to the skin with that being said i do like to use this one before i go to bed because it has a little bit thicker consistency it applies really nice on the skin honestly i have only great things to say about this and it has 100 mils of products or 3.38 fluid ounces that is a lot of product and i would say for a good price yeah i totally recommend this i would definitely buy this one soon because i do need it now for the winter it says provide nutrition supplies nutrition energy oil moisture balance I just think it's a great moisturizer okay let's talk about this one this is the Naturium 
as you can see, I have bought quite a few products from Naturium because I really like the brand. This is the Azaleic Topical Acid, Glycinated Azaleic Acid 10% plus niacinamide and vitamin C. So as far as I remember, this is supposed to be kind of like an exfoliating serum. It says blah blah blah, which minimizes skin imperfections such as congestion, redness, dullness and discoloration. It <laughs> It says here shake well, which <laughs> I don't think I've done. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I guess it's supposed to be kind of a chemical exfoliator, which helps with the overall appearance of a nicer, smoother skin. But as far as I remember from Susan, what she said about this product, this is supposed to be a very, very mild product. And probably that's why I didn't feel like I saw a huge difference on my skin. My skin tolerance for like exfoliators and strong ingredients in general is quite high. This is probably for somebody that has sensitive skin or is new to active ingredients. For that reason, I don't think that this product is specifically for me. I don't think it did anything bad to my skin, but I just want to see more from my skincare, you know? That's it. Now we have another Naturium product. It's the last one. It's a Retinol Complex Serum. I gotta say, I did not love this product. I mean, it's a nice retinol serum. It does not smell very well, but I would personally go for this one instead of this one. It was a little bit too like uh, thin in consistency for my preference. Did it work? Probably. I was just not crazy about the product. It was fine, but I don't think I will be repurchasing this one. Anyways, moving on. We have this Ola Henriksson Banana Bright Face Primer. Vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. This, as you can see, <laughs> completely empty. This was a nice primer for underneath the makeup and I really enjoyed using it. It gives you that glowy look to your skin. It has a little bit of pigment, so it kind of evens up your skin a little bit, but not that much. It was a very enjoyable product, but I think for the price, I personally think it's not worth it. I don't think the vitamin C in this product is enough percentage where you would actually see a difference on your skin. I might be wrong, but that's what I believe. Anyway, don't take my word for it. Do your own research as always with everything. But personally, yes, I would buy it again, but only if it's on sale because I don't think it's worth the $40 price, I think, for a face primer. Moving on, this is the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tint Moisturizer. I've had this product in my favorites before. It is a nice tinted moisturizer. It is really easy to use. I usually spread it with my finger. I don't even need a brush or anything. It's one of those color changing products. It was nice. I enjoyed it as long as I used it. But honestly, with all the tinted moisturizers that we have out there now, I think that you can find a lot better ones on the market right now. So for that reason, although I did really like it in the past, I will not be buying it again. It did smell nice though. Then we have this Cosrx Shield Fit All Greens Comfort Sun SPF 50 Plus BAA 4 Plus. Uh, <laughs> this freaking sunscreen. If you're going to be all day in the water doing extreme sports or whatnot, this is sunscreen for you because this will not move. Even if I try to wash this with soap, it will not remove. This is a very difficult sunscreen to remove. I guess it could have its time and place to use, but I did not enjoy this sunscreen. One of the reasons is that it is super hard to remove and for a day-to-day -day sunscreen, I do not want something like that. No. Hello. Okay, and we're back. I had to take a break to charge my battery. Okay, so we were talking about this sunscreen. And as I was saying, one of the reasons why I hated this sunscreen is that you can never wash it off. Like, even if I had it for a whole day, at the end of the day, when I tried to wash my face, I would still have sunscreen there and it was very difficult to remove. And as I was saying, for something day to day, I did not want it to stay cemented to my skin. Because even if it's a very difficult to remove sunscreen, I'm not sure if it would still give you that protection throughout the day. Another reason why I hated this sunscreen is because it smells 
terrible. It actually smells like paint. It has a very strong scent. It lingers for quite a bit and I did not like that. Another reason why I didn't like this is it has a terrible white cast. It doesn't really say right here but I'm guessing this is a mineral sunscreen. Those are usually the ones that give you white cast and this definitely has a very distinct white cast. You can definitely tell you have applied sunscreen. And my skin tone is pretty light so I'm guessing that probably everybody would have that problem with white cast. Also it was very difficult to apply to spread it on your skin. There are in my opinion only cons about this sunscreen unless again you are in this very specific situation being in the water all day and you don't want your sunscreen to wash away. I could have really used this sunscreen a few years ago in Thailand where I went on a boat trip and um, I only applied sunscreen once which was my bad but I also went in and out of water all the time and that does wash your sunscreen and I was in the sun for five or six hours and let me tell you I got roasted that was one of the few times where I really got sunburned in my life and my nose had a second degree burn <laughs> I believe it to be at least like the skin lifted I had a blister in all of this area from the sunburn that was a time I could have definitely used this sunscreen other than that I hated it and yet I did use it although I did actually after trying to make it work for a few times I did end up using it as a body sunscreen because I just did not like it on my face so I would definitely not be purchasing this sunscreen again. The COSRX Aloe sunscreen, I love that sunscreen. It is totally different from this one. That is one of my favorite sunscreens. I use it all the time. So that was definitely a no for me. I wouldn't recommend this in general. Let's move on. I only have a few products left. Let's talk about this Soldanero or Janeiro, whatever. Brazilian Kiss Cupacho. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lip butter. It smells really good, as you can see. I use everything up, even what is in this, the bottom of a lipstick holder, you know? Because that's how I roll. That's how I always use things up. I actually expected it to smell the same way as the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Or I do also have the Body Mist, which also smells exactly the same. And the Body Glow Oil also smells exactly the same. This one did not smell like that. Maybe it is meant to smell in a different way, but I was thinking since it has a yellow color it will smell like that but anyway that's not the point of this i mean i wasn't disappointed that it did not smell the same it smells like cookies in my opinion which is a very nice and pleasant smell so this is the lip balm that it didn't do much for me i mean it was fine but i would find myself reapplying it all the time because i felt like my lips absorbed it too fast and they would feel dehydrated afterwards after this was kind of gone you know so i don't think i would be buying this again i mean it smelled nice and it was like pleasant like big i expect more from my lip balm you know I wanted the moisture or the hydration that it gives me to last longer than it lasts with this one. So for that reason, I don't think I will be buying it again. I mean, I do have other lip balms that are cheaper and also do a better job. Okay, another lip balm. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the scent Peach. And from all of the lip balms and lip slipping masks that Laneige has, the grapefruit is my favorite one. I mean, I like the pink one too, but the grapefruit definitely smells much better than all of the other ones, in my opinion. But this one in the scent Peach, I feel like it didn't smell like anything, like pretty odorless. I do really like this lip balms from Laneige. I have gone through at least like two or three more of this. They do leave a glossy look to your lips and they are very moisturizing. They are a lip balm, you know. They are a little bit pricey. Like this one costs 20 something dollars, I think. In my opinion, it is a little bit expensive for a lip balm and it also has like 10 grams, 0.35 fluid ounces. If it costs that much but had more product inside, maybe it would have been worth it. But I will still probably buy it again in the future at some point because I really like them. I love the formula and I love how easy it is to apply and everything and the look that they give to my lips. I recommend you try them. They are really nice. If you have any other lip balm recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I do enjoy a lip balm that gives me kind of a long-lasting effect. I don't like to reapply lip balm 
all the freaking time. That's my opinion about this. Last skincare product, and then we have three makeup products. This is the Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream, Vitamin C and Collagen Boosting. As you can see, it has a little bit of an orange tint to it, and it also, you might not be able to tell, it has a little bit of a very fine shimmer to it. It doesn't look like glitter or anything, but it definitely gives you the illusion or the effect of like super glowy skin this was a really nice eye cream but i don't think it's worth it in my opinion i don't know maybe you have been using this and you have seen a difference in your dark circles but i don't feel like i saw any difference using this product besides the instant effect that this kind of gives you because of the tint that it has and the very very fine shimmers i don't know if it's actually a shimmer or whatever it is that kind of looks like shimmers so i did really like that effect i really love to use this underneath makeup it did hydrate my eyes of course and it kind of color corrected a little bit i do like the consistency of this and all but to be honest i can use a color corrector <laughs> for that it might not be as hydrating but this is pricey in my opinion it was not worth it. I did get this one as a gift actually from my friends and I also have another one that I'm still going through that I bought myself in a gift set so that one is the mini one. Yeah I don't think I will personally be purchasing it myself in the future but I did enjoy using it and honestly if you can afford it and if you enjoy the experience of using it then by all means buy it. Skincare should not only be about functionality but should also be about experience feeling good while you use it it's it's a ritual you know you have to enjoy it and it has to make you feel good on top of doing something for your skin so if you have something that people might say that oh this doesn't really do much for your skin but you really enjoy using it then buy it use it it's up to you you don't have to listen to anyone okay now for the last products we have the england dora line uh, this is a mixing medium. I have gone through bottles and bottles of this. I do have another one that I'm currently using. This is great for brow pomades and eyeliners, like pot gel liners, or even if you want to create an eyeliner from eyeshadow or anything. It's like this is a very cool multifunctional product and I have used different mixing mediums and I have to say they do not all have the same consistency and the same hues so yeah this also makes your makeup waterproof so i use this one mostly with my brow pomades but sometimes i also use it with my inglot gel liners because they do dry <laughs> definitely a product that is always on my kit or in my makeup collection you know i have two concealers honestly <laughs> i don't even remember when i finished this concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer this is an og concealer it's been out for many many years a lot of people love this concealer i mean i don't have to talk much about this concealer this is a nice lightweight light medium to medium coverage i will definitely be buying it in the future i think it's a nice staple concealer to have in your collection and it's also a drugstore so there you have it and the last product that i have it's another concealer this is a mini shape tape ultra cream concealer so i got this one in spain last year i mean obviously i had tried that original shape tape before the one that was super hyped and everybody had in the past um and then it kind of died off i definitely had that one which was matte and full full coverage and everything but i got intrigued by the ultra creamy description of it so i was like mm, let's try it i haven't actually used the original shape tape in here so that like, let's bring it back see if it's any different or like how it is you know because i really like the original shape tape so uh, i got this one mostly because i didn't find my shade at the store but also i was like this is a mini one this is a nice way to try a new product because i mean i do love to try new products this is a nice way to try something without spending a lot of money like for example i did buy an hourglass concealer because i have actually heard great things about that concealer and it being hourglass it was very pricey i did not like the concealer it just does not work for me 
and I wish there was a mini one that I could have tried instead of like a full size because now I'm stuck with an expensive concealer which just does not work for my under eyes and I'm kind of pissed because it is expensive I cannot get rid of it, I cannot throw it away, it's like too expensive <laughs> to do that I was very happy to try this concealer and actually ended up really loving it and I did buy a full size of it so yeah I really like this concealer. This is basically my day-to-day -day concealer because I love that it is very creamy and it has a light to medium coverage. It's not as full coverage as the original Shape Tape, so it is quite different in my opinion. I truly enjoy it and this is so cute. All minis are so cute. And that was it. I've used this box from my empties for years now, so there are some stains in it. I can finally throw all of this trash that I took from my previous apartment and um, again start all over again with new products it was a lot of products actually, the box was full let me know any recommendations, let me know what products you went through what you like, what you hated, leave it in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next one